Alright guys, today we're talking WWE 2K15 and this year's new abilities. Previously, we had a few different abilities to choose from such as Ring Escape, Comeback, Leverage Pin and so on, and in 2K15 those abilities have been further expanded to give us more choices and different levels, so some abilities have levels 1, 2 and 3 which all work slightly different. Here are the list of all the currently known abilities courtesy of Yard and Wes whose channels I'll link you to in the video description so you can check out which superstars have which abilities. So let's take a look at this year's abilities. First off we have the Dive and Pin Combo level 1 and this allows the superstar to pin an opponent after certain dive attacks by pressing the pin button when prompted. So the difference between this year and last is that now when you perform a pin combo it will have more of an effect and reduce your opponent's kick out meter by 10%. Next up is Fan Favourite Level 2 which relates to comebacks, giving superstars 16 seconds to complete their comeback sequence and also available as a level 3 option so if you want more than 16 seconds you can go with level 3 and that will give you 21 seconds to complete your comeback. Another new ability this year is Mouthpiece Level 2 which relates to managers so if you have this ability your manager can distract the referee which will allow you to recover 50% stamina however they can only do this 2 times before getting ejected. Up next we have a few more pin combos with pin combos level 1, 2 and 3 which relate to grapple moves with a pin option so to use these it's just a case of pressing the pin button when prompted just like in past years but the added benefit this year is that when you use pin combos it will make it harder for an opponent to kick out by reducing the pin gorge by 10% on level 1, 20% on level 2 and a massive 30% on level 3. Another return ability in 2K15 is Ring Escape, this time at level 2 and you can use this when prompted to exit the ring if you're close enough to the ropes by holding R3 but unlike last year where Ring Escape was entirely beneficial, this year it comes with a cost as it reduces your stamina by 33%. Next is Ruthless Aggression levels 1 and 2 which boosts damage inflicted from grapple and environmental attacks at ringside by 7% on level 1 and 11% on level 2. We'll also have a tag team ability this year with teamwork levels 1 and 2 so if you're going to be part of a tag team then it'll be beneficial to use these as they increase damage inflicted by tag team moves and tag team finishers by 12% on level 1 and 17% on level 2. Finally the last known abilities so far are technician at levels 1, 2 and 3 which relate to reversals and they lower the amount of stamina that you'll use when reversing moves by 20% on level 1, 30% on level 2 and 50% on level 3. So this one should be a really good one to use once you've mastered reversals as it will greatly affect your stamina bar and give you a big advantage. So those are the abilities that we know about so far, of which you can choose a maximum of 6 but there may be some restrictions in how many of each level you can choose otherwise everyone would just use the level 3 options. As for the levels I think the main reason behind them is career mode so we'll start off with a blank slate without any abilities and then begin to unlock them along with the different levels as we progress through the mode. Anyway, let me know what you think of the abilities and the different levels in the comments along with which ones you would choose up to a maximum of 6 and until next time, I'll catch you later.